Hello everyone, this is Shauna coming to you from Branding Time Studios and today, as you can see on the screen, bum bum bum, we're going to do discussion topics of minimum size brushes, brushes, texture packs, and does it work if you do it via mouse. These are some of the questions I had on the tutorial video that I did on how to create a brush inside of Paint Toolsci. I do realize that some of the downloads for Paint Toolsci do not come with the texture packs that I downloaded. That is because I took the time to go online and find some brushes that I could download. Not really brushes, but texture packs so I could create my own brushes. Now, as far as minimum size, which I did get some questions about that, um, the best way to describe how to get lines like this, like the pretty little fancy grass blade looking lines, it's pretty simple. You select your brush. I don't know if oil whale or oil weight or whatever that is is going to work. So let's do, yeah, let's do marker. That's a good example. So how do you get the pressure sensitivity look as if you were drawing on a piece of paper and flicking your wrist to cause the line to look like this? In order to do that in a program like Paint Tool Sci, it is required that you do have, wait, wait, let me write it out. It is required that you do have a tablet. Sadly, this is not going to work with mouse pads unless you have some weird pressure sensitivity mouse or you're doing it on some sort of tablet thing that's not a drawing tablet. Like, I don't know. Anyways, you get what I'm trying to say. It does require a drawing tablet, which I will put Wacom's links down below so you can go on there and check out some of those. Uh, I particularly have a Wacom Bamboozle. Well, it's not Bamboozle. It's a bamboo tablet. <laughs> Anywho, the way you get these crisp, pressure-sensitive lines in Paint Tool Sci with a tablet is to come over here, select your brush, and decipher what your minimum size is going to be. So, let's do... Is brush a good one? Yeah, let's do brush so you can really get a good feel for it. This is brush on 0%. So let's do it over here in the corner so you can see what it's going to look like. It looks kind of like grass blades to me. Kind of like a vector grass blade. Now if you raise it up a little bit, you're going to start seeing a little change on the little point that comes out of it. So you're getting less of that defined point that comes out of it. If you go all the way up to 100, you're going to have solid lines. Whether I'm flicking my wrist or not, solid lines are being produced because my minimum size is at 100. Minimum size is what you get when you're at the end of your line. Okay, that is the discussion for minimum size, boom, 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 brushes and texture packs. Not really much to discuss on this one. Pretty simple task. If you want brushes or texture packs, I will post a link down below for you to go to. It's easy to find online. They're easy to download. If you guys need more assistance with downloading, please let me know, and I will do a tutorial video on that as well. But that's your general basis of brushes and texture packs, which you can download and find pretty much all art websites online. A mouse. Did a little bit more of discussing of this at the beginning of the video. But I'm going to show you the actual difference between what a mouse looks like when you're using it in Paint Tool Sci and what a tablet looks like. A mouse is going to give you a very defined line. This is me using my mouse. Like I said, it really depends on what kind of mouses you have, whatever you use, if you have like some weird little, I don't know, doohickey that you fool around with to draw, you know. It might not be pressure sensitive, pre blah, 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 pressure sensitive, but this is the difference. This is a mouse. Hold on, I can't even I can't even write it. And let me get my minimum size down, so you can see it without the minimum size too. It's the same thing. Uh, adjusting your your techni technicalities in Paint Tool Size is not going to matter if you have a mouse that you're using. So this is mouse. I'm actually writing this with my tablet because I can't write it with the mouse. And this is a tablet. This is the difference in a tablet. Let me go back up to the size of the brush up there. This is the difference in a tablet. So you've got your tab down here and your mouse up here. 
There's a big difference, so if you're wanting to draw digitally, I definitely recommend getting a tablet to use because, and you can actually find cheaper tablets. I mean, I got mine for like, I think it was 111 USDs. Um, it, it really just matters. It really depends on what kind of art style you're going for. If you want to use programs like, you know, Microsoft Paint and stuff like that, it really doesn't matter because it's not a touch or, not touch, but, you know, sensitive program, so you're not going to get the crisp lines. But I do hope this video helped, and if it did, please, whoop, whoop, please sub, because I do post these often. I'm going to be getting back into my YouTube, so I will be posting these probably about once a week, but you're going to have a bit of an overflow for this week. But subscribe and like down below, and let me know what you guys think. And if you have questions, any questions based on Paint Tool Sci, please feel free to post them. I will do as much as I can to get tutorial videos up for you guys, and I will be doing it weekly. So stay in touch. Let me know what you think. Talk to you later.